Hey YouTubers, uh, the very serious topic that we're going to try to cover today is how much horsepower do you need? How much horsepower is really needed? Oh man, I hate that when that happens. Well, some people ask the question, how much horsepower is enough? Well, one horsepower is enough as long as you have a good horse. <laughs> Well, I got a pretty good, uh, I got a pretty good riding partner today. So this is my father, Boris, and he's 95 years old. His birthday was two days ago. And he's gonna, let's get, just turn here, just like this, and get you on the uphill side. There you go. Okay. Okay, now, so all you gotta do is just put your, if you can just get your foot up, you can get your foot up and in there. Okay, now, oh. ooh, just a minute. Wait a minute, you ready? Yep. There he goes. Okay. He's on and he's ready. Now we'll see how well you guys do when you're in 95. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tie this on there. That's okay. Yeah, I'll come put my other foot in. Okay. We'll go. That okay? You want them shorter? Just a little. Bit. Let me shorten them up there. Yeah. Won't take a second. Okay, and we're off. No, she don't, but she'll go once you get her going. Okay, here we're headed up. This is a Salt Creek Canyon. You can look way up top of the mountain there. That's the Nebo Basins up in there, and it's pretty steep. Yeah, I've seen this after a big, uh, heavy winter, and this this whole thing will be covered with, uh, covered with snow, big old glacier. But we haven't had one of those years for a long time. <laughs> it's pretty up here. It is. Why don't you go ahead and make her walk right out and. Anyway, I'm actually filming you here, so this is, uh, anyway, this is my dad, Boris, and he is the real thing. He's 95 years old. He started riding horses as uh, soon as he learned how to walk. Anyway, he hasn't, he hasn't been on his horse since last year. He went, when he turned 94, he went for a ride, and we took his picture, and then he went and showed it to all his friends uh, to show them that he could still ride a horse. <laughs> yeah, there's a pine hen right there. Well, that one thing about that little Mary, she does the best she can. Yeah, she does. She'll go alright. So when you get it going here, do you think your uh, back loosen up a little bit and your legs loosen up a little bit? And maybe that's all you need to do is ride the horse more often, huh? That'd be good physical therapy. I really don't know how well I'll be riding if I ever make it to 95. But I doubt I'll be <laughs> doing as well as you. So. <laughs> so you got any stories you'd like to tell me today? No. <laughs> what about... Uh, we had 
had a, a sheep camp right here. One of them was up the bottom of the canyon and it was 19... 36. 1936, huh? And you camped, camped right a, here with the sheep, huh? We, we had a drought. Uh huh. So they made us pull them down off of the sagebrush flat and go up this canyon uh -huh. and pull up the right hand part, the left hand part, and pull it up on top. And we lost sheep. So oh, I'll bet. We hard on the horses. We rolled two back horses. Yeah. Going up horse on them. Now that's steep. Well, that was the government at work, yeah. Forest Service, huh? Yeah. Telling you to do it that way. <laughs> yeah, because weren't didn't you graduate in 1938 or was it 39? What was it? M Mother was a year after you, right? I think wasn't Mother didn't Mother graduate a year after you did? Yes. So, so I think, I think you were 1938 and she was 1939. I think. Yes. Yeah. But you got to come up with the sheep here in the summer and help and uh, cause you did you. Yeah, that had to be 1936. 1936. Did so was that? Did you like that better being up here with the sheep than down putting up hay, pitching hay by hand? A day. a day, 25 cents a day. Yeah. And then with pitching hay, you got 10 cents a day or 10 cents an hour? 10 cents a day for leading the dairy horse. 10 cents a day for leading the dairy horse. You got 25 cents a day for up here, camp tender helping with the sheep herd. Yeah, <laughs> okay, focus, focus, focus. Let me get closer. There we go. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. So why don't you uh, let me get up here? Uh, how about if you tell me about uh, when you got your first motorcycle? You told me you bought a Harley Davidson when you're in high school. So where did you get that? Did, did, was it from uh, Bryant? Did you say no? There was Ralph a, Bryant. I had it from down to, to Delta. Oh, I see. He used one, and he he came up there. Right up there, and he wouldn't sell it, so I, took, I bought it. Off. I paid some down on it. Uh huh. And it would, uh, would it be a, a 45? No, no, it was a little bigger now. It was bigger? 60 something. Was it? What was that? That one I rode in the army. Oh, that was a 45. Yeah, well, it was bigger than that. It was bigger than that. Oh, yeah. And then this was back in 1936, 7, 8. Yeah, 1938. 1938. Yeah. And, uh, so it was a Harley-Davidson, but it was bigger than the uh, yeah. Army 45, yes. huh? Yes. And uh, we rode it around, and uh, we tried to ride two of us riding it in one stand-up, you know. And uh -huh. The cop stopped us and <laughs> said, hey, we don't care if you kill yourself, but you going down the road, you're going to wreck and kill someone else. And, but he didn't give me a ticket. And then, <laughs> then I was coming, I was going north, and right there on first south, where the photo shop is, I pulled off the road a little bit, and, and another fellow come along and turned right in front of me, and I hit him right in the back door. T-boned him, yeah. Yeah, and, and went up and hit my head, knocked me out, and when I come to, I was up in the doctor's office, and it was actually my cousin was driving the car, and I didn't know it until about 40 years later. He told oh, me. Oh, really? Yeah. And that that was before the days of helmets. Oh yeah. 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 And so did that total the bike? 
the eyes ruined the bike. It totaled the bike out, so you lost out on that deal. Well, huh? it didn't total it. It could be, it could be fixed because it, it could have been fixed. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> didn't fix it. But I don't know if you remember if that was like a V twin. Most of the Harleys were, a, I'm not sure back then what they were, but maybe you wouldn't remember. But it, it looked was, just like one of yours. But like it, they do now. But it was, uh, I don't know. I'll check it out. <laughs> anyway, it'd go pretty fast, huh? Oh, yeah. 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 It goes fast as you want, huh? <laughs> yeah, they're funny. I remember horses are all different, you know, they all got their own personality. But when we uh, when we had the sheep up on the mountain over at that Scad Valley there, one time a a bear crossed the trail there, and so every time that old gray mare, old Spooky, get to there, she'd just start backing up and then and uh, snorting, blowing snot, and backing up. You know, <laughs> she didn't like the smell of that bear. All righty. Tell them about the. the Bloom that come down here. This is where they floated their logs. Oh, really? Uh, down from here? Yeah, well, they floated them from up there where the parks are. They had a sawmill. They had a sawmill up there, huh? At one time, but then. And then they had a flume where they. They put the sawmill in. They had. They had a. They dug a, a ditch down here or, uh, and loaded it, lined it with rock. And then they'd float the logs down, but it wasn't a success. They went too fast. They had oh, it was too steep. It was too steep. Oh, I see. But it was all dug, and you can see it all up along. You, the yeah, it seems like when I was a kid, you could see a little yeah. bit of that. But yeah. Might it's be a little far, you can see it. It might all be washed out. But I know they did a lot of work, didn't they? Yeah. They didn't wait around for the government to do something for them. The pioneers, they they just went to work and did it themselves. Oh, I see. You lot. A year ago, you had on like some uh, sneakers, huh? Yeah. And it hurt your legs. And so this year, you got your boots on. You'll be all right. Yeah, I hope that's not too much activity there. Yeah, one thing about uh, one thing about my dad, he's never been able to take ibuprofen or aspirin or any type of a pain reliever because it bothers his stomach. So he just toughs it out. Now, if you were uh, coming through here on your dual sport motorcycle, you'd have to pick a good line to get up on your pegs to get over these rocks here. On a horse, you don't have to worry about that because all you got to do is just give them their head and they'll, they'll pick the line. The horses are very short-footed is you know especially ones that have had uh, a lot of experience riding in the hills when we had our uh, sheep herd our old uh, sheep horses man that go you could go anywhere you could go through the thickest deadfall you could go over cliffs up slides down slides they didn't they didn't care uh, wherever you uh, wanted them to go they would go a lot of these uh, arena horses that have just gone to the fairgrounds and you know did events in the arenas there you take them out in the hills and they uh, they're really awkward sometimes they'll get in the tight place and panic and uh, might rear over on you or something but these these old horses they don't care pretty level-headed Yeah, we can hear the crickets. Well, I think the horses have enjoyed this ride. You know, we should... Uh, this is the first time we've been out this year, and the, the summer's getting over. We should do it more often. We always get uh, so busy working, or we think we are so busy working that we don't take time to go do things. We had a pretty good experience this summer in June. We uh, we were able to go with the uh, Utah Honor flight back to Washington, D.C. I traveled back there with my dad and we went to the World War II 
memorial plus uh, all of the other monuments and memorials and that was uh, I noticed just recently that it had another group go back anyway my uh, my father he was in the service almost five years four years and something and uh, he was overseas three and a half years uh, he was in five uh, D-Day invasions Got blew up once. Had a lot of experiences. He was in a medical battalion and was the uh, motor sergeant. So he was over like 100 and something vehicles and all the ambulances. He's done a lot of things since then. He's auto mechanic. Uh, he's had his own auto shop, uh, repair shop. Uh, Farm machinery dealership, farming, mostly. Uh, I think he's been in scouting for 80 years. He was a scout master for 40 or 50. I think he's still a merit badge counselor for uh, woodworking. So he's always uh, been uh, giving service to others. Anyway, I don't think I don't think you have any of your friends that can still get on a horse, do you? They're all dead. All of his friends are dead, except for one or two, and they can't get on a horse. So <laughs> you uh, you also told me about when you were uh, when you're in the army and you were. I, I think it may have. Been, I don't know if you were overseas yet, but they. Uh, you went to a headquarters battalion or whatever, and were the uh, dispatcher on a motorcycle, right? Where, and were you in uh, like Fort Lewis? Anyway, uh, he was a dispatcher on a Harley 45 motorcycle, but after a while, he decided to, he didn't like that because uh, they would go on maneuvers and they would go uh, uh, blackout. Where they had the little blackout lights, no headlight, and he'd have to ride that at night, trying to deliver uh, messages. He decided that wasn't too good of a deal, so he <laughs> transferred back into the motor pool, and then he eventually began became the uh, battalion uh, motor sergeant. It didn't seem that far on the way up. Well, how's your legs? Fine. Yeah, not too bad. Whoa, look at that. What's that? Your legs are a little stiff. Your legs are a little stiff, Well, we proved that one horsepower is enough. One horsepower is adequate. Even across the really gnarly, rocky <laughs> slides. <laughs> Come on, girl. So anyway, YouTubers, whoa girl, whoa. Thanks for riding with us tonight. I'm glad you could ride with my dad. He's uh, 95 years old, he's the real thing. Well, that's a nice ride, girl, thank you. I bet. Come on, girl. Anyway, YouTubers, uh, 
thanks for riding with me and my father tonight and I hope you can ride with us again. This is Dr. Dual Sport, out.